Hello, I'm Gino. Uh, welcome to Dazzle TV. It's uh, Monday morning, uh, 7 a.m. in the morning, uh, here in uh, Sambiray, Malay, Aklan, Philippines. And um, last night uh, was our, I guess, night off. Uh, Dazzle and I, we didn't uh, work the resto bar last night. So uh, we actually uh, were in Boracay Island last night, uh, Dazzle and I. Uh, we attended a going away party uh, with Jack, our friend Jack, uh, the, and uh, uh, some people that he had met. Uh, Jack had uh, marinated uh, some prawns and a fresh tuna that he bought that morning. So really delicious. Uh, thanks Jack for the food, it was amazing. And it's uh, cloudy uh, here this morning. Um, Looks like uh, Boracay Island is uh, getting some rain. I'm here in the balcony as usual with my uh, morning cup of coffee. Uh, watching this uh, fisherman, they, they had uh, cast out their net here from uh, the shoreline. And they have that uh, contraption again that, that they rig. So in a minute here, they'll be uh, pulling that in uh, to see uh, what they catch this morning. Yesterday was Sunday, uh, Dazzle and I, we went to uh, Boracay Island and uh, we met with uh, Kerry. Uh, Kerry is a Canadian and he was, uh, he's been living in Boracay for three months. Uh, he was one of our viewers actually, he caught uh, uh, our videos in the past and he decided to uh, try Boracay. So he's been living in Boracay uh, for three months. Oh, it started raining, it started raining. And today we're gonna have a, a live stream at uh, 10 a.m. So in, in three hours, we're gonna have a live stream. And by the time you watch this video, we would uh, have announced already, um, we're taking Kerry, he's gonna move to uh, Dumaguete. So he's gonna try out Dumaguete after three months in Boraca and see how he he likes he would like so he will he's gonna move to uh, Dumaguete and uh, Dazzle and I we will uh, drive him to Dumaguete uh, he has quite a few things he had accumulated so uh, uh, I was talking to him a couple of weeks ago and he said he was just gonna rent a taxi uh, get on the ferry there's a ferry that goes from Iloilo to Bacolod but I was, you know, it's kind of complicated if you try to do it with a taxi. So I offered, you know, Dazzle and I would take him all the way to Dumaguete and he was bored. He was happy. He was happy to hear that. So uh, that's what we're going to do. We're going to leave uh, this coming Wednesday uh, from Boracay, from Katiklan to Iloilo. It's about a four to five hour drive. And then when we get to Iloilo, we're gonna have to uh, ride the ferry, uh, put our car on the ferry, and that's gonna cost, the estimate is about 2,000 to 2,500 pesos. So about $50, about $50 to uh, take our car from uh, Iloilo, Iloilo to Bacolod. So we'll see. Uh, I have checked online whether how, how I would book that and there's really not a uh, online booking system. Basically, once we get to Iloilo, uh, the port in Iloilo is called the uh, Dumangas, Dumangas Port in Iloilo. Uh, we have to uh, take our car to the Coast Guard so they can uh, inspect the, our vehicle. And then we would basically uh, put our car on a list of all the different boats that are going to Bacola that day and then they'll call you if uh, you can get on the boat uh, so we'll see how that goes and uh, I'll make a video of that because, uh, because I'm sure there might be somebody that's interested on on how the ferry system uh, is we've done a video before uh, when we went from Katiklan to Batangas but this is a little different because the one from uh, Katiklan to Batangas we were able to book online ahead of time. So we'll see how, how uh, this trip, how this uh, taking our car on the ferry goes. And then when we get to Bacolod 
from Bacolod to Dumaguete, uh, it's about a six to seven hour drive. So this is gonna be quite a road trip, you know, a lot, you know, driving, getting on the ferry, and we're excited. Dazzle and I are excited because uh, we haven't done that. We've been to Bacolod before. Dazzle and I went there uh, in 2013, so about nine years ago. So it's been a while since uh, the last time we went to Bacolod. And this is gonna be our first trip to uh, Dumaguete. Uh, we've never been uh, past uh, south of Bacolod, so it'll be uh, fun driving and see uh, what kind of views we see uh, when we uh, head towards Dumaguete. Let us know if uh, you have any recommendations for uh, Dazzle and I to see while we're, we are in Dumaguete. Uh, we've watched videos of Dumaguete in the past, so we'll probably do that again just to see what kind of things we can do in uh, Dumaguete. We're gonna be tourists in Dumaguete for sure, for sure. We're gonna take a lot of pictures. Uh, it's gonna be a fun trip. And Kerry, uh, he's an amazing guy, uh, really. Uh, we met him yesterday, we had lunch with him. Uh, he's a really cool guy, you know, it's like, it's gonna be a fun trip with uh, Carrie. And just a rainy morning. Uh, lots of clouds, lots of clouds uh, this morning. Dazzle, uh, she's still sleeping, so she'll probably wake up uh, before 10 when we do the live stream. Just wanted to update people on, uh, we haven't done a live stream now in like a month. So we just wanted to, there's been a lot, you know, you've seen on our videos with the resto bar, uh, now the trip to Dumaguete, and just the people that we've met. Here you go, another plane, another plane. This one, Royal Air. This is the third Royal Air. So I guess uh, Royal Air is really uh, starting to, uh, land here in Katikland. This is the, the third one in like uh, about a week's time that I've seen uh, Royal Air. And the uh, Royal Air, again, it comes from uh, Angeles City. Uh, Clark, Angeles City is where uh, Royal Air flies and it flies uh, to Katikland direct. Just a rainy day here now in uh, Malay, Aklan, Philippines. Just enjoying my cup of coffee in the rain. The fishermen out there, they're uh, reeling in their net with that uh, wooden contraption they have. So they don't mind the rain at all. They're just like getting soaked in the rain. Yesterday, it was uh, super hot on the beach. I mean, it was like uh, almost uh, unbearable hot at the beach in Boracay. And then today, it's uh, uh, raining. So that's just how the weather is here in uh, the Philippines. It can change, you know, daily. You know, you really can't predict the weather here. It's really coming down hard now. This is like uh, good rain now. And you can see, uh, the kids uh, in the elementary school here, they're just in the staying out of the rain. But it's pouring now, but you can see uh, how 
it's pouring here, but it's clearing up in Boracay. So this rain right here, it's just gonna pass. This is not, in probably less than 30 minutes, this rain will be gone. Because I can already see it's clearing up in Boracay. You can actually see a sunshine in Boracay already. There's the Parau sailboat. Looks like they're racing their uh, sail. Looks like they're gonna go out in this uh, rain. There they go, they're uh, leaving. After our live stream today at 10, Dazzle and I were headed back to uh, Camellia Aklan, to our house. We're not gonna be able to take uh, Chloe or Totoy with us on the trip to Domagetti. But we have uh, somebody watching our house and watching our dogs. Yeah, another air, another airplane. Cebu Pacific. Not even uh, 10 minutes from the last airplane that landed, uh, Royal Air. So uh, almost back-to-back -back planes here. And it's only uh, 7.15 in the morning. As you can see, the rain stopped already. Oh, it looks like the plane, he, did, he missed his landing in Katiklan, so he's got to circle back. Because uh, he climbed again, so he's going to circle back and uh, land another way. And there's the kids at the elementary school. <laughs> and the fishermen they're still out there they never uh, they never left on that downpour they're reeling in their net It's amazing how fast it clears up, you know, I mean, it would just, it downpoured and now it's clearing up. It's like, uh, looks like the sun is coming up. You can see how clear it is in Boracay already. It's now uh, 8 a.m. in the morning and as you can see, the weather has cleared up already. Earlier around 7, 7.15, there was like a downpour. Now you can see uh, the skies have uh, cleared up pretty good. Same thing here by the elementary school. That's how fast the weather changes here. And looks like it's gonna be uh, another gorgeous day uh, there's already i see a sailboat a parao sailboat out there there's uh parasailing over in boracay island i could see one two three parasails out already so eight o'clock yeah uh, looking good looking good dazzle uh, she's still sleeping uh, probably i'll wake her up about 9 9 30 so we can uh, have our live stream at uh, 10 a.m. And I think after our live stream today, uh, we're going to take uh, Chloe to the groomer here in uh, Katiklan. Because uh, we found a pretty good groomer here at uh, Katiklan. Uh, she's going to get a puppy cut. Dazzle likes uh, Chloe getting the puppy cut. See, you can see. Uh, 
the sun, you can actually see it's gonna be a sunny day, I think, after all that uh, rain this morning. Thank you very much for watching. I'm Gino. And I'm Daza. We just started our channel. So if you enjoyed watching the video, please grow with us and hit the subscribe button and thumbs up. And, and we, we are, are going, going to, to keep, keep making, making videos, videos of, of our, our life, life in Aklan, Aklan province. province. Philippines. <laughs>